Maleficent is back and she's having a mom off against Aurora's new mother in law, Michelle Pfeiffer. Welcome to the Wall Vault with Andre, Michelle, Emily, and Luis. We are a family friendly podcast where each and every week we watch and review a different Disney movie. Be sure to subscribe on all podcast platforms and YouTube. Enjoy the show. This episode of the Walt Vault Podcast is brought to you by DonorsChoose.org. Our very own old man negative Luis is requesting your help. Due to COVID, the high school soccer team that he coaches is switching seasons and needs better gear. He is conducting a donation drive for his boys soccer team in hopes of getting them some short sleeve soccer jerseys in order to relieve them from possible heat related illness. Luis says that if you are willing to donate, he will love you until the end of time, probably at least a million years. We only need $500 to reach the projected goal, so please go donate now. In addition to Luis's undying love, anyone who donates will get an exclusive signed picture of the entire Walt Vault crew with Luis in an Olaf costume. And you know how much he hates Olaf, but he's going to be wearing the costume. That's the kind of dedication that he has to his students. So go to DonorsChoose.org, type in Luis Ruiz, or click the link that's in our description below to go and donate now. Thank you for your help. Hello and welcome to the Walt Vault episode 121. 121. 121. Ah, two, ah. One, two, one. Oh. <laughs> two, and we're seeing it. One, two, one. <laughs> one, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Today has been a long day. And, it's been uh, a long day. And we're here. Um, I, I had dental surgery today just to... <laughs> Throw that out mm. there. Yeah, you so my mouth. Fine, hurts. You sound better than you did earlier. Oh well, my mouth was much number earlier. Oh. Um, <laughs> so now it's just uncomfortably painful, and I can feel my yeah, stitches start, try not grinding to against my maybe lips. Maybe, maybe we should talk like this. Like Please don't that talk is like not that. gonna help at Barely all. Barely move your mouth. <laughs> to let this be the ASMR episode of the yeah. world. <laughs> <sighs> this week we are talking about. No, it makes no, me tingle. I mean, just don't move your mouth. 2019 so live action. Sexy yeah, filled. Andre had a <laughs> maleficent. Andre had a pocket filled in his mouth, a phrenectomy, all those fun stuff. Yeah. He's still got like five things of drugs. Okay. I mean, they're not crazy drugs. They're just uh, they're, like they're dental drugs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I took ibuprofen and uh, <laughs> an antibiotic today. And That's uh, pretty normal. And the yeah. slurpy mouth thing. Slurpy mouth thing. Oh, the mouth rinse, which <laughs> nothing I is more slurpy than Louisa's <laughs> slurpy <laughs> mouth. So Luis is um. Also have dental stuff. He um, is been wearing an Invisalign. Um, yeah, how's that? What do you call that? Braces no, for the last retainer. couple months. It's going well. Yeah, and he's almost done with it. His his teeth are looking very. I mean, they were always nice, but now they're looking Not extra looking nice. Straight. But he Rarrr. slurps so much; it is so annoying. <laughs> it is funny because I have one of those, and it doesn't make me slurpy. Oh, good God, Louisa. <laughs> He just has long. a lot. He just produces a lot. Are you of just spit. A, a saliva man? Probably. Could be. <laughs> Could like when be. you when Could you be. go for a run, do you spit on the ground? Yes. No, we're in COVID times. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! So he does. So he so he slur. doesn't run. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. There's that. Yeah. Which one is it? No running and no <laughs> spitting. <laughs> <laughs> Neither. I'm okay. Not, I'm not allowed to spit. What episode did we do Maleficent? Oh, um, that's a good question. I think I you said it on the last I episode. I believe it was like in the 40s, 47 or something like that. So it was like a while ago. I liked it. I, I did liked like Maleficent, it. the original. All right. Well, first impression, Emily, did you like Maleficent, Mistress of Evil? No. <laughs> At all? Nope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. First okay. impression. Good, m- good music. Oh, it's episode 80. Excuse me. Very oh. pretty costuming and makeup and stuff like that yeah bright colors and stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> it was but my problems are it was very predictable mm-hmm. yeah. but it also had a million plot holes yeah how can you have plot holes and it be predictable it was a lot i don't know they'll do it on. here and uh there were some issues with for me with cinematography like some parts of it were really cool looking mm-hmm. and some of it were like wow green screen right. okay. oh interesting. like okay. that is very not a set okay, okay. there was some weird very pretty jankiness to this to yes. this movie yeah 
So there's so I kind of equally liked and disliked certain things, which is I think weird. sometimes though, like like we'll always give Disney like your visuals usually look pretty freaking good. You know what I mean? Most so of I, the time. I think sometimes when we like we didn't like the movie, but we did like X Y Z about animation. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. So, but it, overall, like I oh. don't want to watch this movie. You again. You would just watch the first one again. Yeah, for okay. sure. Fair enough. Um, I feel. I feel similar about this, how I felt about the second Alice in Wonderland movie, mm. like where I was just like, nah, mm. and that's kind of how I felt about this one, nah, but did I still like want to watch it and see everything on the screen and enjoy all the mythicalness of it? Yes, absolutely. I love that kind of stuff. I love fantasy, fantasy. so um, it's really fun to me, but the storyline in this movie is not as good as the first one at all. Like, the first mm-hmm. Maleficent is, like, one of the best, arguably the best live action that they've made, you know? And um, on top of, like, origin story exactly. piece. It was yes. very This felt good. more like a Michelle Pfeiffer movie than an Angelina Jolie Maleficent movie. So, it kind of... And I want it to be an Angelina yeah, Jolie movie. So, right. there was, like, a, you know, with the two different storylines going on that I just kind of, like, felt, okay, like, a little disconnected from it. But I like it. Um, I think I enjoyed it more the first time we watched it in theater yeah, than upon this too. viewing. I was kind of bored. I was like, I've already seen this. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't really need to see it sure. again. And it was, it's probably been over a year since we saw it yeah. in the theater. Because in 2019, it's probably been a year since we've seen it in the theater. Yeah. Because in 2019, we went to the Halloween party at Disney's California Adventure. And we they had, like, a red carpet, like, the Maleficent Mistress of Evil preview, the actress who plays Aurora was there yeah, mm. and did like a speech. Up. And we, sh- we saw her, we were like 10 feet away from her. Mm-hmm. Um, like she was giving like, Oh, you know, this and this, they're like interviewing her and stuff. And we saw the preview. And so maybe we were just hyped up for it more when we saw it in December That's true. and we were like, cool. They gave us, they gave us hats. So yeah, Ooh, they did know. give cool. us hats. We could probably find a picture of that and post it. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, it, it's usually rare that I enjoy a movie less upon the second viewing, I would say. That's true. I usually usually, the opposite. I, usually I appreciate it more, and I was just kind of like, eh, whatevs. So. What do you think, Lou? What was your yeah. first impression first of this impression, movie? Lou. Honestly, the last 30 minutes were the only good thing about this movie. Mm. And if it wasn't for the fact that I knew that there was an unbreakable bond between the two, um, Aurora and Maleficent, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this movie would have stunk. Interesting, but I like the last thirty minutes. So yeah, I Lu- don't know. Luis kept bringing it back to like light scenes and stuff. Male- Maleficent is like tethered to to Aurora. to Aurora. That meant a lot to him in like motivations, I guess. Mm-hmm. I mean, that makes sense. I don't know, yeah. Andre. What okay. about you? Yeah, first impression. Um, I think that this movie had potential. Agreed. But did not meet it. Uh, Agreed. In almost any way. Like, there, th- this movie is really pretty, like we like we have said. Um, and there's cool scenes. There, there's a gajillion characters that got wings in this, and they're all flying around. It looks pretty cool for the most part, but then sometimes it looks really wonky where their wings are walking around behind them or they're, <laughs> or they're like, floating in front of each other. <laughs> <laughs> and it just looks super duper fake or whatever. Um, and then also, like, there's a lot of good um, actors and actresses in this movie, but they're all giving fairly stilted and, as you said, predictable performances. Where like Michelle Pfeiffer, who uh, you know I love, she's she's Catwoman for sure. <laughs> um, but uh, you know I was excited for her to be able to like choose some scenery in this, and she does a little bit, but also. She was just a grade A, you know what? Well, in this yeah, movie. yeah, 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 yeah. So and, and that and that shines through, um, which is good on in terms of her acting. Yeah. But at the same time, like, uh, her motivations for me kept like flip flopping around. And she's like, I, I was, I was, I hate the Moors. And the, the, the Moors betrayed me and they killed my brother. All kinds of all kinds of weird yeah. weird stuff going on there. Um. So ov- overall, this movie is yeah, it, it does kind of remind me of. Alice in Wonderland 2. Which in that I, I know, and I hate saying that because I know they like it. 
um, Louise they, they being <laughs> Louise and Emily. They. they. <laughs> Them over there on that couch. Um, so it's kind of funny that we feel that way about it's it. It's funny that you say that, though, because that movie also has major issues in it, too. I yeah. think that Louise and I just prefer... Well, no, that's not even true because we really did like this this like kind of I kind of think of these in their own universe, right? right. Like the Alice in Wonderland universe and this being kind of its own maleficent yeah. universe. Yeah. But I think I find a lot of joy in that Alice in Wonderland universe. So to me it's kind of like, okay, whatever, you got a bunch of weirdos, like whatever. It's it's right. I like I find yeah. it being cool anyways just because I like the idea of I just kind of how I feel about maleficent cuz I like fantasy and mm-hmm. i like creatures and stuff so i'm like oh, i'll let that slide just because i literally do want to look at the imagery yeah you know which was still out beautiful in the end mm-hmm. you know and i and i like uh, seeing angelina's cheekbones and her hair down and the mm-hmm. costuming choices now her horns are covered now her horns aren't Dude. i like all that kind of stuff so angelina, jo- angelina jolie is hot i guess she's been hot for a while but she's still hot <laughs> she's still hot yeah uh, okay whatever lou <laughs> Just me and Angelina alone on an island. I I love Angelina <laughs> Jolie, but I hate her because she has very. Def- I mean, it, even without being Maleficent, she has a very defined bone structure, mm-hmm. and I ain't got no chin, so I hate her. <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> like every time I see her profile, I'm like, you stupid, <laughs> stupid <laughs> bi. Hey, oh my god! Spell it either. I hate spell. my. I can't spell it. Uh, I don't People like. People know how to spell Michelle. I know. I just don't like my profile at all. Like if somebody shows me a picture and they're like, "Look, it's a view." Laugh. I'm like, Ugh, "Girls." And every time you see Angelina Jolie's chin, you're just like, "Oh." oh. How yeah. do you feel about the mandible? What was his name? The the, the crimson chin. Oh, by my mandible, <laughs> I say nay. Oh yeah, I liked him. That's from <laughs> the Fairly Odd Parents. Uh, He's I cool. love that show. Crimson chin is awesome. Johnny Tsunami. <laughs> No, <laughs> you're thinking of Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo, Johnny sorry. Johnny Tsunami was... <laughs> That's why I was confused. I was like, had uh, quite a bit of chin there. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's really funny. Um. <laughs> I got chin envy. It's okay. <laughs> I'm, there's people out there that got, got chin, chin envy. Chin envy. Chin envy. Um, All right, let's get into this story. Yes. Uh, so this this movie was long. Uh, d- can we all agree uh, on that? Another issue. Too long. It it it's it only was too long. Let's see. It's too long for me. Two hours and oh no, an hour and fifty nine minutes. No, it was seventy five hours. It and was two hours. Minutes. It was basically two hours. It really felt very long. Like we got to a point where we're like climbing close to the climax. We're in the third act or whatever, and then stuff is popping off. And I was like, oh, snap, this movie's about to be over, and this is it's going to wrap up nicely. And there was like 45 minutes left. And there left. was 40 minutes left. Yep. And I was I like, think it's are kind of you kidding me? Interesting that Luis liked the third act the most, mm-hmm. and I was kind of digging, um, I was digging, like, the dark face stuff. I was like, we can just stay here and explore this more. And hang out with these bird people. Yeah. So let's go through the let's go through the plot so we can get there because I was not expecting that mm-hmm. to happen, which was cool until I like yes. didn't think it was cool. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so uh, Andre made an interesting comment about that that we'll get into, but Okay, cool. So well, you know what? Should I just Basically say Basically what it's, it's starting the way this movie starts is that Aurora is queen of the Moors. No, it doesn't even start even there yet. There. It doesn't. So the first scene is three dudes. There's some so dummy humans. Some and dummy humans around. trying oh. to get into the Moors. Right. And Luis, <laughs> Luis said this probably 25 times. What side of the Moors is this on? I thought that there was like a forest, and then there was right. like a castle. Like what the heck? Like this is. So he's like thinking like if you're looking at a map, this would have been like maybe the opposite side. Yes. Because where we were taking place in the other movie was a very countryside type. Yes. Yeah. And they go landscape. into a dark forest and that leads into the moors. Yes. So it was land on land. This was like riv- almost like the Mississippi River. Yes. And not even that big. It was like just a, a like a river, river and then like a full kingdom, which yeah. was kind of interesting. That they're right there. And they don't have any, like, any communication communication at all, which no you bridges. can, like, yell across. Right. Hey, <laughs> all you fairies and stuff. Right? Stop being weird. <laughs> so it's three, like Shrek. three <laughs> dummies <laughs> come across the river mm-hmm. for some Nefarious reason. Catch reason. a fairy. For, uh, for, so from Dr. Nefario reasons. <laughs> and when they get there, 
um, they're trying to catch little creature things. Mm-hmm. Fairies. And uh, are they all called they're fairies? They're all fairies. I guess they're all fairies. They're all different types of fairies. Everybody in the moor is a fairy. That big tree, that Groot dude That's is a fairy. A fairy. The, the Maleficent oh. is a fairy. Uh, <laughs> they're all fairies. Uh, uh, they're just fairy. different um, species. I guess so. We'll put it that way. Yeah. I guess there's a lot of bird species. I guess yeah. I'll yeah. think of it like that. Okay. So they go in there. They're trying to get some fairies up in here. Mm-hmm. And they're just getting all kinds of jacked up. They can't catch them. They're getting into trouble. And then Maleficent comes up in here and whips some booty. Actually, we don't see that it's Maleficent. No, we don't, we don't know that it's Maleficent. I actually think it's that other guy. I think it was Cornall. I think it was. Oh. Yeah, I think it was uh, him too. Yeah. Wi- okay, so we're unsure of who but it why? is. I was assuming at that moment right. that it was Maleficent kicking some peasant booty. Mm-hmm. One peasant I gets away. One peasant gets away and takes a ferry and gets back across the water and takes it to some. This is one of my major issues. Takes it to some very fairy esque yeah. man. Yeah, a like goblin dude. He's a goblin, very obviously from the Moors. That's yeah. why I'm like, who? What? Why? Yeah. Who let? Professor Flitwick into the the dungeon. Exactly. Green Flitwick (laughs) down there messing with these fairies. So he ends up with this kind of coveted tomb bloom. Tomb bloom. And and a piece of the flower. Yes. And then we cut to the Moors. The Moors. The next morning, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. And Aurora being queen. She's like doing her queeny thing. And then all of the fairies, they just kind of like usher her. She falls in the water. They're trying to get her to go under That's this pretty, tree. Pretty embarrassing for a queen to just be falling into the river. It was just so. odd. And then Stupid also humans. Philip was really odd in this movie. Like I liked him better oh, in the first right. one. So it's a different actor. Yes. yes. He's yes. Recast. I, I get that they recast him, but I just wasn't feeling Philip in this one. Well, number one, I, r- I don't know who played him in the first movie, but I remember thinking to myself, this kid is good looking. Right. And then when this guy came on screen, I was like, this guy is not good looking. <laughs> yeah. And I, I know that's like my own taste, but I just was not into him. But he reminded me of someone who would have played a perfect beast. Like, yeah. He looked like totally beast. looks like, like beast with the hair. Yeah, like he just looked like the way that the animated Yeah, He didn't beast look looked. like Philip. So then I was sure. like, this is not Philip at all. Yeah, I agree with you. And basically he, you know, asks Aurora to marry him and they say she says yes. Um so <laughs> they're they're gonna get married. All right. Um uh, but they gotta tell both of their parents and that's an issue because, you know, Aurora's <laughs> godmother is maleficent and his parents we don't really know them yet, but one's crazy and one's okay. So <laughs> the already the king there's is very nice. some. Yeah, I like the king. He's very He's chill. Cool. He's like, hey, peace, brothers. He reminds me of that guy from Parks and Rec who was uh, an ambassador from Ecuador, Venezuela, who said, "You wear glasses, dead. You <laughs> drive fast, dead. Dead." <laughs> <laughs> I love that. No, Luis um, really liked the the king too. So I like Maleficent, and I, I like Diaval, um, her, the like, bird. crow. Mm-hmm. He, he, like, her sidekick, he's cool. Her bird, bro. Um, I liked him less in this movie, though. Yeah. In I the know. first one, I remember being like, I love him. Yeah, he was really good in the first mm-hmm. one, Diaval. Um, so, you know, he is always on the on the lookout for information, so that's a big piece of information. He goes to Maleficent, and <laughs> he's like, no, don't freak out. <laughs> Which is, we know she's going to freak out, okay? She, he doesn't even have to say it. Um, she already... Well, she she gives out a couple guesses. She's like, he's like, Prince Philip, Prince Philip has, and she's like, uh, pneumonia or something like that? <laughs> or uh, what is she saying? I don't remember. Um, I, I don't remember, but she, uh, epoxy or uh, <laughs> what, what, what kind of malady does he have? She wants him to be poisoned and Yeah, dead. she wants him to be dead. Um, but then uh, she's like, don't ruin my morning with this crazy nonsense about her asking my Aurora <laughs> to be her his wife. And or I whatever. like she just like freaking storms over there to Aurora and Aurora's like, Princess Philip asked me to marry him and she's like, Oh, poor dear. <laughs> like the guy. I'm mm-hmm. she's like, No, I said yes, mom. Um, yeah, so and even like this whole interaction is like kinda weird to me. Like I didn't really need it. Like we know Maleficent wasn't gonna be happy about it, obviously, because she's like very overprotective of Aurora. Mm-hmm. But then Aurora's like, I want you to come to dinner at the castle. And I was like, mm, I don't know if we need to that's where I was like, I don't think we need to do this. You can already tell where this is gonna go. It's it's not gonna go well because although Maleficent kinda 
you know, save the day in the first movie. And nobody cares about that. That was, that was a different all, kingdom. Uh, it was a different kingdom, and all of they remember in this kingdom is that Maleficent is terrifying. Well, and that was kind of, that was one thing I did like about this opening of the movie was the first, 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 first thing yeah, you saw the, the, like, was narrator. like a sweeping pan of the moors in a very pretty way that then went over the countryside into this new kingdom we hadn't seen yet and then back around to like where the fairies lived and yes the narrator was saying you know Maleficent did this it was great she saved the day but, but no one nobody remembered that she was the one who saved Aurora she, right. they just remember she was the one who cursed Aurora yeah that's so that all was a good way to kind of re refocus scene. us because in the last one I was like uh, like you know Maleficent's the business yeah like, I know who cares if she cursed her right. but everyone <laughs> in this kingdom is terrified of her so I mean, she is pretty terrifying. And terrified of everything from the moment. Aurora convinces her to go. And th I think the best part is when they're crossing over the river and they just get into, like, the kingdom. And there's literally all of the civilians are, like, screaming and, like, running. With, like, they're ah, losing it. Like, oh there's God. literally pitchforks. I told Andre, I was like, I'd be the <laughs> only one, like, what up, girl? How's it going? You look sick. Nice horns. <laughs> what, what do you do to get those cheekbones? <laughs> what kind of freaking blush are you using? Let it me know. It was so weird. Like, I, d I don't know. I feel like there were certain things that they overdid. And I don't know if it was supposed to, like, show that the – King and Queen had like ultimate like say over everything. Oh yeah, but like All the, the but the dad seemed to be the king seemed to be really into peace. peace and and making connections with them and the mom did not. So like you would assume that they would follow what the king wanted. Right. Like at least try to I don't know. It, or just at least, like okay, it was if, over if the we're top thinking about a marriage between two kingdoms, usually it is to bring peace between them. Like kings and queens would like okay my son's gonna marry this one so we can trade and yeah. blah, blah blah you know back in the day so right. for the king to be like wow you're gonna bring peace between these two kingdoms i get that and philip's lawyer like i get that but i also like love her you know which yeah, is fine that's like so it just kind of worked out so yeah it was kind of annoying that the mom was like not on board about it but she's just a straight up fairy hater and we <laughs> don't really find out till a while later straight. hey non and fairies <laughs> And if anybody's good to play that kind of character, it's definitely Michelle Pfeiffer because she has like a look in her a eyes. A fairy hater face? She no, does. just like that <laughs> kind of like evilness. Like she, she's like sassy evil, you know? She's a hater. I don't know how to describe it, but they cast her well. Yeah, she's a hater and a schemer. Like you yeah, see, schemer. You see early that uh, the king's like, hey, no, no weapons. We don't need none of that. We good. We good. We cool. And then the queen like gives a little side eye to her little uh, Draco Malfoy clone Anyone? henchman. Pause. <laughs> uh, she was terrified. Pause. What is this girl's like name? Her. I loved her. <laughs> Louise's <laughs> favorite character <laughs> was the henchman girl. Oh, she had, she was weird. Louise? I think her name is Gerda. Gerda? Gerda. Luis loved Gerda. Yeah. He was You know like, what I Ooh. kept thinking when she was playing the freaking <laughs> organ? I just wanted it to be like, da na 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 na. <laughs> da na 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 na. Like she you just wanted it to be Phantom of the Phantom? Opera? Yeah. It took me a while to figure out what you were done yeah. annoying. Yeah, I wanted it to be Phantom of the Opera, but it wasn't. Just uh, the way she was she like was getting down a, a on Barry it. White song. <laughs> da na 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 na. Da, 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 da. Anyway, <laughs> that's um, a different song. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get a little. She was weird, Louise. Really yeah. Her. So, so Gerda, the <laughs> the the evilest henchman. She's like she's like really determined to to be. Yeah, to her be and the queen are homies. She kind of reminded me of Draco Malfoy's yeah. plus Hamish from the Alice in Wonderland. Oh. Yeah. Like like the guy she was supposed to marry. Yes. Like, yeah. But then in a female form. Right. I kept calling her redheaded Lady Malfoy in, the, <laughs> in my notes. Um, She's just squirrely. Um, so there is a secret lair that the queen has, and the way to enter it is like through the like through the closet. Her creepy mannequin. Crown room. room is that what you call it? Well, I was like, this is a nice yeah. walking no, it was, closet. It, it kind of was like her closet though, because yeah. she had all of her all like the jewelry, and all her outfits is on the creepy mannequins. <laughs> I wish, man. She goes up to the main mannequin. She twists that thing's neck, and then a secret door opens. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, it is cool. I like secret doors. And then she gets to be, like, up on top looking at all her yeah. minions. So work, which reminded, ha gave me, like, Lord of the Rings vibes. Exactly. Yes. Like I was like, so she has minions down here making iron weapons <laughs> right. to kill Maleficent. Yeah. I mean, we know why she's making iron weapons down there. But then even farther down there, she has a 
the fairy whose wings are clipped off, and he is experimenting with stuff. His name is Lick Spittle. Lick 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 Spittle. Lick Lick Spittle. Yes. Like Spittle to lick up some spittle. <laughs> it's the Ew. grossest. It's the grossest name I've ever heard in a movie. <laughs> but isn't that like the Hobbit guys? Isn't his last name Lick Spittle? The Hobbit. Yeah. Mm. There's the. There's the there's the, the, the Tooks. Lickety split. There's the. Uh, Lickety no, split. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're talking Lord of the Rings. I'm yeah. talking The Hobbit. Like the governor guy who lives in the Lake Town, and then his little henchman is something Lickspittle. Oh. Alfred. Alfred Lickspittle. Maybe. Maybe. I, I mean, he looks like I a Lickspittle too. I literally just read too. that he book like two gross. months ago. You think I would know, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember a Lickspittle. I don't know. I'm getting way off track. I'm yeah. so sorry. Both of them now. Anyways. He's experimenting with dust from the tomb bloom flower. And apparently if you put the dust into the iron and then you sprinkle that on a fairy, it basically turns that fairy to dust. Well, it turns him into a flower, which is kind of weird. It like disintegrates them. Well, yeah, the, it, the it, one he it uses it on is, is like a, a, a flower fairy. It's like a dandelion. Yeah, a dandelion. So when he puts the dust on it, all the sentience goes away from the from the fairy yeah. and it just becomes a regular dandelion. So at this dinner. Which, pause, this gave me total like Nazi scientist vibes. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. it just, I didn't like, like where was his motivation to like it was be evil? Was freedom. it just because she would set him free if it were? Did you get that from the movie at all? What? That, no. that he was under her like lock and key or no. whatever. So we watched um, some of the special features that were on Disney Plus, and there's a feature about Lickspittle, and it's got Warwick Davis in it, and he's talking about the motivations of his character and whatnot. He was like, and the reason that Lickspittle works for Queen Ingrid is because uh, uh, he's fighting for his freedom. If he just kills enough of these other fairies, then she'll let him go. But uh, obviously she would never let him go. But like... But we I didn't never got that. That definitely wasn't in the actual movie. They mm -hmm. must have cut something out that clearly explained that. Uh, because I didn't like that there was just this like totally obvious character from the Moors right. who then was being like yeah. an evil scientist on them yeah, and like literally just killing them. No big deal. He was yeah. Uncle Tom and pretty hard. So, <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, so at this dinner, it does not go well. Okay. <laughs> um, number one, oh, let's uh, accidentally make all the silverware iron so that, like, Maleficent can't touch it, and then she has to eat with her hands like a creature, and then... That was pretty, like... Let's also like, just dang, uh, talk disrespect. about... Oh, I think the worst was when she was like, and I, she will live here, and I'll think of her as my child. And I was like, yo, you push a Maleficent's buttons for sure. I You're not even trying to be a good a mother in law figure thing. Well, thingy. she's being very fake. Like that's yeah. that's the thing about Michelle Pfeiffer's character. Well, and I know, which I get, but I also fake. feel like Aurora wasn't getting that from her at first. Where I'm like, Aurora, you see this girl? Like she's being crazy. Right. Where I was like, Aurora, she's like coming at your mama. It's pretty naive, and and even Maleficent should have warned her that that would probably happen. But at the same time, the most egregious thing that happens at this dinner, I think, is that uh, Queen Ingrid serves them like little. Uh, cooked birds <laughs> or whatever so she sets it in front of maleficent with her big old bird wings and then diaval who is like full bird He's dude <laughs> and they're like oh bird mm, delicious <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, rude. okay i'll just go make them eat birds this is a hardcore move it was and and basically it, it just gets too <laughs> heated between them and i don't remember oh she gets really mad and she like bursts her green energy everywhere and she's like pissed off oh and it's so because the cat was like gonna to, like, eat was like bugging her. yeah yeah right so maleficent like stops the cat and then uh, she tells it to calm down or whatever and then I know she was like <gasps> a witch in, in the castle. Yeah, I'm like, is, calm down. is hardcore antagonizing yeah. Maleficent. Everything she's saying is to make her mad. So Maleficent, mm -hmm. you know, she can't keep a hold of herself. So she starts seething with this green energy or whatever. Her evilness. Yeah, yeah and eventually Don't she says something. Don't you know lime green in a Disney movie equals like evil? In every Disney movie? Oh, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> if you see lime green, you better run. <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess I can't think of anything that's not. Not even Hades. Green. Lime. Those little claw dudes Hades were lime green. Hades ain't got no green. Evil. Where where is the green in, in Hades? 
I don't know. Not on him, but like <laughs> no, no, oh, that's blue. That picture? blue but when red. you go, but when he goes into his hell hole with green. all the souls, those are all, that's green. Right, green. That's green. Ursula, green. When she goes, and does her thing. Scar, green. Come on, look it up. Peach the lime green. Be prepared <laughs> with Google green this smoke. Right now. You continue. <laughs> Um, then she stabs Papa. Right, yeah. So that's the thing is that when Maleficent like really pops <laughs> off, stabs the Papa. She, she like flies <laughs> so out of her seat. Confused about what you meant. She flies out of her seat, and Queen Ingrid takes this time to pretend to hide behind her husband, like a like a like a you know a doting yeah. wife or whatever. And then <laughs> uh, while she's doing that, she straight up stabs him with a little spindly, you know, right in his right in his spindly. arm. Spindly. <laughs> S- yeah. Stabs him with the spindle, and then when he falls to the ground. Queen Ingrid makes it seem like <gasps> Maleficent just cursed the king. She put a curse on him. She Which is so him. funny because she literally she makes like, no movement towards him. Nah, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, get out, get out. And then Maleficent gets super angry and, and flies out. Um, and while she flies out, uh, the homie, uh, little uh, baby girl Malfoy, she <laughs> goes up to the roof and grabs her, uh, what is like that thing a called? A crossbow. crossbow crossbow puts an iron bullet in it which the crossbow mind that's you that's probably why louise thought she was cool because she was got some aim on her like <laughs> the crossbow literally was like three times as big as uh, bigger than her it's so big it was very large it, either that or she's just that small i think they like tossed it to her earlier in the movie and it like went off and stabbed something in, in yeah it face, did you're like right that. That was funny. and she was like whatever um yeah so gerda she uh she takes the shot and it hits maleficent while she's flying like 300 uh, yards Very far away. away pretty pretty like. far. Um, she hits her in like the side or something like that, and Maleficent goes down. She flies into the sea, crash lands, and nobody knows uh, what happened to her because she's just gone she's out of the sky. And Diaval, the bird dude, he must have like flew off to the moors, yeah, and no, then changed back. back into a human. No, no, he, he was he trying he to got, escape with her, yeah, huh? and he's like flying kind of behind her or near her, but then when she gets hit. With the iron, like her magic, like sputters and, he and falls he to the ground, uh, like as a human. Yeah, he okay. like sputtered into human form. Gotcha. So he was stranded. So he fell. He had to walk back. Okay, I, 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 I must have had to walk his butt. Back. I must have missed that part because I was like, "What happened to you? What we? What, why, why, why didn't you see her get shot um, later on?" But I think he just didn't know, like, he why didn't know what happened or mm-hmm. what happened. He just turned back human and mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh no, my wings are gone." But then, so. She at first thought, like, dude, I got her. Like, I mm-hmm. shot her down. But then she, she sees something, mm-hmm. which we don't, we're we not really sure either. Right. We see something similar come to her. Come out of the sky. Come out of the sky. Dive into so the water. Assumingly dive into the water and pick her back up. So that lady sees all of that happen. Right. And then reports back to mm-hmm. So mommy Ingrid. grumps. Yeah, mommy grumpies. So it definitely wounded her. And I was kind of making the comment to Andre. I was like, that wounded her, like, real quick. Like, it was just a little tiny thing. But he was trying to relate it to, like, well, it's like her kryptonite. Right. Yeah, it's you just know? Like because kryptonite. it was iron. Uh-huh. And it, it burns her. Uh, you know, they make some dumb little reference earlier in the movie because, like, Queen Ingrid is, like, allergic to flowers. She's like, hey, achoo, achoo. I'm so allergic to, to your flowers and your hair. And then when the iron mm-hmm. is presented as, like, forks and knives at the table, and Maleficent, like, almost touches it she's like, ah, she's like oh you know just like you have an allergy to flowers she has an allergy to to iron but it's not quite I the same it, flowers don't burn her upon touching uh, <laughs> you and, but know? i thought it was really dumb that ma- they made her like allergic to flowers like that seemed pointless to me I, like, I think it was all just to be related to the i get it but i didn't need that yeah yeah it was it was or just to make her that much more averted to to the moors yeah moors, that's yeah. how i took it and i was like you need there. to calm down did you like accidentally make yourself allergic to flowers because you hate the moors. <laughs> you know? So like Andre yeah, and milk. his cheese and mm-hmm. milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Samesies. <laughs> me and Queen Ingrid, we're, we're, you know, we're not so different after all. <laughs> <laughs> she had a phrenectomy today, too. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Dang. Nastiness. <laughs> um, so uh, Queen Ingrid, while, while Maleficent has fallen, um, she like takes Aurora under her wing. She like convinces her that she she poisoned the the king and that um maleficent can't be trusted and she's straight evil so she's gonna take her under her wing get her married off to the sun and then rule over both ulstead and and the moors which i just don't yeah. understand i think that's another reason why i got like upset well, she wasn't with gonna the story rule over the moors babe she just wanted to kill them all 
Well, she didn't tell Aurora that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It bothered yeah. me that, like, Aurora was just so... Just like, going along with everything. Agree- okay. in yeah, she wouldn't have that. done that after like, the I don't, first one. I don't like that she didn't stand up for, for Maleficent. Like, I Maybe, understand like, that when she asked, like, change him back, like, she was like, well, Maleficent didn't do anything. But I think she uh, Maleficent was also like, I did nothing. Like, there was just too much in that situation where it was like, okay, y'all could have handled this if you had just used your words. Yeah, okay? what a concept. What a concept. Can't use your words in the movies. I know. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so Aurora's, like, going along with everything. Um, but she kind of hates it. It's all pretty old-fashioned. She has to wear these bulky, big old dresses instead of her nice little flowery ones. Mm-hmm. And she's got to play nice-nice with all the Ingress other evil friends like all her friends are nasty <laughs> they're yeah. all gossiping about aurora right in front of aurora like oh my god Luis literally she was lives like, in the forest <laughs> are you serious she's right there i know <laughs> so rude um you know they're making her wear corsets and stuff <laughs> it was too much all your mama's white friends acting yeah. all crazy <laughs> uh-huh. acting a fool right in front of you um so uh, at one point she like confesses to Philip that like, hey, this is all kind of a bit much, and I don't know if I'm ready for this. And Philip, you know, he's a cool dude. He's yeah, like, he's you, cool. you don't have to change for me. You don't have to change for anyone except for you know my evil mother who is the queen and ruler over all the lands. You know, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> well, and I just feel do. like they decided so quickly that she was gonna live in that castle. I'm like, aren't you queen of the Moors? Like, and she never like discussed it with anyone. No. She didn't discuss it with Philip or with Ingrid or with Melissa. Well, and that did make it kind of confusing too. Like they tried to kind of like seep over some of the. Confu- not confusion, but like the storyline of the last movie and this one too. So like apparently, which we d- had never seen, right. she has a castle in the moors mm-hmm. that I'm assuming. I know. I want to see the castle. Like, yeah, they said it was beautiful, but they never showed like it, right? It no, like. I never saw it. No, they never. Weird. So it. apparently, there's a castle in the moors that apparent that uh, someone made for her. Okay. But then she also had a castle because her dad was king right. of her family's castle. Whatever. Yeah. And they gave, and they said in this movie that they had given that up to the people. Give it to the people. Um, like which I don't know what that means for the <laughs> castle. But yeah. <laughs> but so she was honestly queen of two right places. Two places. Mm-hmm. Like Even she didn't have to be queen of the Moors. Maleficent could have been queen of the Moors while she was king, queen of her own kingdom, and then had peace over on that side with the forest. Some and complicated stuff. politics. But yeah, I guess she decided to forego. Her human relationships, her human home, and hang out in the moors, and be the queen there. Which I guess is that's fine. Good on you, Aurora. I'd whatever. rather have fairy friends. I think. Yeah. yeah. I feel like there's less complicated issues they have in the Humans 2020. We have stuck in the movies. I guess I so, mean. but you know, fairies are up to all kinds of hijinks. She's got a little hedgehog friend that runs around, takes her crown and stuff like that. You stuff, right. Stuff you you right. I don't Fall like in, hijinks. Yeah, if, if I don't if like uh, shenanigans. If Andre yeah. fell in the water, he'd be. Oh, I, it'd be over. I'd be like, you know what? You're all straight up peasants now. <laughs> Nobody gets paid for nothing no more. I'm no. the queen. <laughs> so while nobody takes I'm my crown. Queen. While all this is happening, um, <laughs> Maleficent. <laughs> You're the queen. I'm the, the queen, queen, baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's the I'm queen. sorry. It's so funny. <laughs> what were you saying? I said, while all this is half a um, happening, Maleficent <laughs> is on an <laughs> island. Uh huh. Oh yeah. She has been. She's been flown over to the um the nest. Is that really an island? I thought it was just like a bunch of feathers, like super glued together. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> no. I mean, that's that's basically what it what it is, right? Okay, so she gets in there. Um. She she wakes up. She's been she's been taken to the nest. She's been flown over there by this other winged creature. She wakes <laughs> a winged up. Winged creature. She wakes up in Pretty a much. completely different outfit. Her hair is down. She's got band aids all over her chest and stuff like that. She's definitely been felt up. I don't know. Uh, that's exactly what I would think. <laughs> band aids. Can you say like band? She was bandaged. <laughs> she was bandaged or whatever. <laughs> she <but> got bandaged. <laughs> somebody had yeah. not what that was. They somebody had to get all up in there. Yeah, exactly. They saw all her birdie parts. You know. Um, so she wakes up alone, and all of this has happened to her. She, like, wanders through this weird nest-looking place, and then she hears voices. She drops down, and she finds that there are dozens and dozens of um, people that look just like her. They're, they're human-esque people with horns and, and big old wings, but they all got different colors and outfits and stuff like that. It's, they're, they're pretty cool. And some are more <coughs> human, and some are more... Birdie? Bird, but some are like really um, animal esque. Right. Like they're less 
domestic. They got all like they have like scars on their faces and stuff, and and all kinds of weird markings all over their bodies. Um, they're arguing down there about whether or not they should attack the humans because the humans have been subjugating them for dozens of thousands of years or whatever, and and uh, they're they're going extinct. These these bird people. Um, Dark Fae. The Dark Fae is what they are called. So here's the major pl- plot <coughs> problem fae. for me. Okay, so Plotle? what? what's your in- ex- inciting event? Like, right. inciting incident. Like, that killed okay, them all off. So if you've been, like, th- this is going to be the stupidest thing I say ever, <laughs> which I get it. But, like, if you've been subjugated this whole time, Where like, were you? what may, and you've been mad, but, like, so you just extra mad right this right. moment? Like, why are yeah, you fighting? We like, don't have enough facts. What happened? What to really do. make you upset. Like one scene, if there was a flashback to a war or something. Yeah, and then also the like, like they are they are g- on the, clo- the closer end to extinction or whatever. But at the same time, this nest is pretty dope and pretty it is pretty expansive. Sick. Well, and that's why I, w- so I liked cool. that whole scene. I was like, I could just stay here and they can just show me about all these things. Right. These are cool. Um, but it's it like a bi- what did you say, Lou? Like a biome? It is it like a biome. Yeah. It's like it's like Zootopia. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's like the Zootopia of the Dark Fae. There are exactly. all kinds of different climates within this. Gigantic so they have the desert nest. Fae, the jungle Fae, the forest Fae, and then the tundra Fae. Yes, the Arctic four of fae. them. Arctic Fae, sure. Um, my my thing was like, you guys were obviously watching her, and you knew she was there, so you. Maleficent. Mm-hmm. They knew y'all just left her there. You didn't want to go get her and bring her to your nest. I just felt like that was rude. Like they, like because Maleficent didn't know this existed. Right. Which to me just seems like okay. We'll just leave her there and we'll observe her. She didn't type even of know thing, that like, I, other people like her existed. Right? I know, and I so I was kind of like that's messed up. Agreed. Like if yeah. these people found me and were been there the whole time, I would have been like, so you only decided to pick me up when I was about to die, and watching. now you need me for your X Y Z thing. Like I was well, kind of mad. And here comes my number one issue with this movie, like plot wise. I don't ever mm-hmm. want to see. Yeah. Do you know? Are we gonna say the same thing? Go ahead. I don't ever want to see a phoenix. phoenix. They're again everywhere, man. Okay, Get but Emily, out. Emily, Get out. The Phoenix in this one was a lot better than Mulan for no, sure. No, 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 it was, but like I just don't want to there see it. Was the Mulan? Yes. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Shoot. It's not a, it's I not a major spoiler. <laughs> it, it's like the idea of okay, Mushu well, but Andre, is like the phoenix. But yeah. Like so Andre made the comment. He was like, I don't understand why they went with like a bird phoenix thing when like in the animated it's a dragon. Exactly. They right. could have gone yeah. dragon magic, but they decided to be like, ah, bird magic. I was thinking that almost the entire time we were watching this because she starts off the movie with her wings in this, right? In the first movie, she she doesn't have her wings for a but she got her wings back. majority of yeah. the movie. And then she gets them at the end and it's like, oh, that's pretty but cool. But like why are they bird wings but and in, not like yes, dragon in wings? In this movie, I see see them and she's got these feathery feathery bird wings along to going along with her horns and then i see all these bird people and i'm like didn't she turn into a dragon in the cartoon why did they go with so they went a co- they just went a completely different way with it yeah i don't want to <laughs> see this phoenix i don't even want to call it, it's like becoming an archetype that i don't want yeah i don't i really only like this. phoenix in harry potter i, I just it. but i i understand like the idea and the and the and the lore behind it, mm-hmm. but I just don't need to see it played out in all these different ways because <laughs> it's not strong. They, you're not doing it justice, right? Like, and you're not doing it in yeah. an effective she, way. She just became the one, the chosen one, the 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 phoenix haver, the with the literally no explanation. The Jean Grey from X Men. She just becomes yeah. the phoenix all of a sudden. And, oh, and I don't even want to talk about Dark Phoenix. <laughs> 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 That's a whole other. Yeah, issue. it's a whole another other story. other other story. But but actually a very similar story to this one, I wherein know, uh, you can just get extra powers sometimes if you're like cool and have long hair. I don't know what <laughs> what it is that draws these magical birds to these uh, ladies but it keeps happening anyway but do, you, do you agree that it's like it's too it, much it's unnecessary it's definitely and unnecessary it, and especially because you're not giving us any other reason other than just you're 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 the chosen i one. think in a movie like this it's especially lazy writing like they they go okay well Maleficent in this movie, she's going to fight uh, with the, the queen, and the queen's going to have the, all these evil tactics to go against her, so we have to give Maleficent some 
even higher up upper edge against her even though she already has yeah. magic and can fly and which i mean this stuff. is like a human lady like a regular lady who does not fight with allergies with yeah like <laughs> and you're gonna tell me that she needs to be phoenix she has to be phoenix powered yeah so so that's the thing in the so writing that's is like, that like how they're explaining her power in this yes we're gonna give like her I extra power a magical creature and that was fine with me yeah, they they all worship this this phoenix god thing that that uh, is the the big bird on top, you know, which um, is incarnate in her apparently. Yeah, she has been reborn or something. I don't I don't know what it is. They they don't explain <laughs> at all. And later in the movie, <gasps> um, so there's like an attack and and Cornwall gets hurt or whatever. Who's and Cornwall? He, the Chiwetel Ejiofor, the the guy from uh from Doctor Strange. Oh, he's the that, that bird dude. Is Cornwall? Yeah. I think his name is he's Cor- the, Cornell he's the or Cornwall or bird dude. something like that. I don't know. <laughs> he just called him Cornwall. Cornwall. Like, who the hell is <laughs> the rough looking one? For sure, the dude from Doctor Strange. He gets yeah, yeah, yeah. he gets hurt. What was his name there? Uh, Mojo. Mordo. 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 And, um, Mojo. <laughs> we call him Mojo. He gets hurt doing something. Cornwall Mojo. And, and they all begin to like attempt to heal him. And, oh, my God. And I didn't know what was happening. I was like, oh, okay, they have healing powers. That's interesting, I guess. Mm-hmm. And they make this he, aura of light around him. And, and he got like barraged with bullets. Oh, yeah, he got shot like, up pretty good. Heck, a shot up. So there's no way in my mind if you are allergic to something <laughs> uh-huh. like if you if superman got kryptonited yep and then Dead. got flown to his solitude ice uh-huh. kingdom yep. yeah. he would not be able to be healed by this ice magic no right. but it looked like it was gonna work right yes. didn't it kind of seem like it looked like it was it was doing uh, powerful stuff it, there was magic all like around him I got, uh, are we talking about when they're trying to heal the dude? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I was getting like Avatar vibes where they were like, lo, 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 for lo, sure. Lo. Right, right, right. And like trying to do it in the ground and stuff. I was like, oh, okay, so they're just oh, going to fix him. He's going he's yeah, to well, get up and take like his Black revenge Panther against him. They didn't like fix him. I don't know. But he definitely just died. They they all kind of like back off. They call Maleficent over. She's like, oh my God, I'm so sad about you, even though I met you yesterday. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. And then. <laughs> um, she does like some weird magical stuff, I think, for like a hot second, and then he's yeah. like, oh, "Well, <laughs> and he that's dies. it." And she gets like Night-night. real mad. So I was thinking maybe she kind of absorbed some of the phoenix energy, yeah, like some when of it's she like, was doing like pouring that, pouring you know? into her body or something like that. But like, why were they trying to save him if he was gonna die? Like, I'm not saying like you w- you we shouldn't save him, but. It was very obvious that right. hey man, that was the end. Doctors, they took the Hippocratic Oath, you know, to try to save everybody. So I mean, that's fair, sure. But then they they did back off at one point. They that's were like, what you I'm know saying. what, we're like, done. Okay, bye. <laughs> we're done with all this magic nonsense. Um, that was just the most. Bu- w- that was a very bizarre scene. It was not necessary. He could have just like fallen it, off to the yeah. side. She flown next to him, and then he passed, and right. then she get pissed and go. Yeah, yeah exactly. But like, why did we have to have this whole like ceremony? And then the, the weird dude, the what, what do you call that bird dude? The hard looking one, what's his name? Bora. Yeah, he he just looking. I like at how Malef- you know all the names. The I hard like looking how he, one. He's literally like him and Maleficent making eyes on each other like all the time, which is like okay, it's fine. Yeah, but he's like staring at her in the scene, like what you gonna do? Make the next move. Because he's, like, waiting for her to, like, hulk out and be evil. So here's my question. Were you getting, like, sexual tension vibes or were you getting, like... Oh, for sure. Like, fight vibes? Like, like, yeah, like... Uh, no, they're like brawn vibes. Like, like political kind of, like... No, I was getting sexual tension. I don't know, I guess... Especially at the end of the movie. I was getting both. That's why I was kind of confused. Right. Like I think what he was like was. he was like enamored with her. Mm. Like, look at this girl. Right. She's gonna save us, and also she's hot. I because I also was I've already been with all these other birds. I've been here for a while. You know. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I was getting she's new. At first, it was like I was thinking at first because he True. was the one that was so mad. Like when they were fighting mm-hmm. in the beginning, right. we have to fight the humans. I was thinking it was like she was gonna come in and bring peace, and that was gonna make him mad because mm-hmm. he wanted to go fight, but because she chose to live with humans, she was gonna be like a swaying vote, right. and so he was mad it's about be that. A problem. I don't know. I, w- I felt different motivations coming from him, and it's hard for me when things aren't clear. I mean, he you wasn't know, even that important, so I wasn't that attached to him. Men like, are men are complicated. Like you know, they can they can want multiple things at the same time. I don't. I didn't know that was an option mm-hmm. for you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got uh, layers. 
I didn't know you could read. Like Shrek. Flair. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys are like onions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, what's what's happening at this point? Oh, so they they uh, Ingrid has discovered that the tomb blooms are what can ca- create the the dusty death. Uh, <laughs> things for the, all the fairies or whatever. Dusty death. So she sends all her guards <laughs> across over into the moors to go steal a bunch of the tomb blooms, and that's that's when when uh, Chabotel Etiopor gets shot. Oh, um, thank you. I forgot they, why they pick up all those tomb blooms. They take them back over. They start making these dust bombs, um, and then Maleficent she she is responsible for killing Chabotel Etiopor, I guess, and then <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then they get prepared to go over and fight in the war. Meanwhile, Queen Ingrid has invited... Which I just find so bizarre. Like, if... It's like Maleficent's in two different movies right now. (laughs) Yeah. Like, (laughs) the first part of the movie you were in had to do literally with only Aurora. Mm -hmm. And now you're in a totally different movie, and you're going to come back in fighting the people. Like, what? And she doesn't... It was a lot. Never never brings up Aurora. At any point does she say to these fake people, like, Hey, uh, I kind of got like a human daughter, and she's about to get like married. They like, today. already know, though. But that's like, she's gonna marry the like people you're gonna go her. attack, right? But but that's but the thing. But they already know about about all that. Oh, because remember the one dude was like, "Oh, there's gonna be a wedding." Heard there's a wedding. Right. I know that they know, but Maleficent doesn't say anything about it. She's not like, I'd, "Hey, uh, can you guys not do that?" Because <laughs> that's that, like a person it, very it, close to me. When she's with the Fae, I I don't know if she's just so defeated. She's just not like quite herself, you know. I guess she's not herself at all. She yeah. used to be pretty fiery about these Aurora type things. <laughs> she's <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I guess we can go kill all of them while my daughter's there at Sounds her wedding great. on her wedding day to the man that I know she legitimately loves. Let's do it. True. Let's kill him. Let's mess him up. Um, so, yeah. So so the queen has invited everyone for the Moors over over into Olstead to and here's to the most nefarious part to join the wedding. Right, they can. They yeah, like you guys can rude. all come over. You, everybody's invited. It's a come track. on in. The 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 fairies they make their happy little way. They're like, woohoo! We get to go see a wedding in the city. We're so They're very happy. They're very excited. They head over there. Dolores Umbridge is just being herself. <laughs> that the the three fairies. I hate them so. What much. are they doing? Dolores in here? Umbridge. What is going on with them? Not much. I'll tell you that. They're and not I, super important I characters. I cannot stand the CGI on them. Yes, they, yeah. they're the this worst so looking bad. part this of the movie. This is where it started looking bad. That they are the worst part. Yes, it's like their little the Groot fairy thing faces. is very cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like the hedgehog and the even the little pig things, they look pretty cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. like you mean like the snouty yeah. thing? Yeah, they're kind of like rock creature esque things. Right. Whatever, they look fine. But yeah. the fairies are so bad. They look like they're Very from bad. a PS3 video game. You know, <laughs> we're on the PS5. This is a long time ago. For sure. Um, so they're heading over to the city, and the city guards are like, "All right, fairies, come on in this way. Head on right into the chapel. The humans, human, stay out. Humans, humans like don't come in here. Really no bad. humans in the church. It will be bad for you." <laughs> I know, but they're like so mad. They're like, "Why can't we go in? Why won't the humans go in?" I'm like, "Y'all, just what is going on?" Yeah, so it it's was it's pretty obviously a trap. Like as soon as they're walking over, it's like, "Oh, they're about to get messed up in there." Yeah, and exactly. the only way that quote unquote there's any hope is that Diaval, because he is not a crow right now, exactly gets sent over to the human sent to the side. Human, human pile or whatever. And he, <laughs> he's like, no, I'm pile. a bird. <laughs> he's like, actually, I'm a bird. Thanks. He's like, what? 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 Uh-huh. He does not like being here. So this is the next thing. He gets, he starts climbing up a wall to try to get over to where Aurora is at so he can like tell her like, mm-hmm. I want to be in your wedding party pretty yeah. much. Hey, let me in there. And he's climbing up the wall and then like 16, 17 scenes later, he's <laughs> climbing down the other side of the wall. <laughs> He's a bird, Emily. Like, okay, he's hell not hell a freaking lizard. You know how hard it must be to switch from wings to arms. It's like, oh he my god, he's not a lizard. It takes okay. so long to get up high. Now he doesn't know how. To do I was it. like, oh, like I thought you would be halfway to Aurora by now. He's still coming down. He's the making his way up there. Oh, speaking of the yeah. ball. Um, this is something that I guess I have to mention because earlier in the movie, <laughs> when they're walking into Olstead for the first time, him and Maleficent and Aurora for the dinner, Olstead or uh, Diaval looks uh, over at the wall and they've got like a painting of a bear on the wall. He's like, "Oh, whoa, look at that, a bear! Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool if I was a bear? How come you never make me into a bear?" And Maleficent's like, "Shut up, you bird dude! <laughs> I don't care about what you want." Um, 
And so now, I do love how mean she is to him. Though <laughs> yeah. it's quite they're funny. Hal- they're hilarious. The, I the love them. Together. I feel like they're funny. in love. Like yes, secretly. yeah. No, I mean, well, I she kind of don't get that. Like, I really do believe like they love each other, but as it's like a human and love a friend. <laughs> it's like a human and a pet, almost. Kind of. In the green, she does treat him like a pet, but right. I think he loves her like a best friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah they're like that. homies. Best they're homies. homies best for buds. Life. Um, so, so yeah, so You've been through shared trauma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do know about that shared trauma. So Deval eventually reaches Aurora. He tells her about uh, the the possible dusting or the possible uh, uh, nefariousness that's <laughs> happening in there. Possible dusting. I got one of those earlier. Um, and she um, she tries to leave her room. And the guards, you know, they they are like, hey, you can't you can't leave here because by the order of Queen Ingrid, you gotta you gotta stay in here. Oh, also, Philip hands uh, Aurora a tube bloom, and Tube-bloom. he's like, hey, check this pretty flower out. I don't know anything about where you live, and she's like, oh, this is like a death flower. Where did you get this? And he's like, my mama gave it to me. Isn't she the best? Bye. And then um, Aurora's, Aurora's like, like uh, uh, this can't be good. Um, so she starts realizing that uh, maybe Queen Ingrid isn't who she says She's she is. Crazy. So she does some investigating. She goes to the creepy mannequin room. She twists that neck. She opens the secret door. She twists that neck. <laughs> <laughs> she sees that all the weapons that have been making, and then she meets Lickspittle. And Lickspittle's like, hey, I'm the only one who's supposed to be in here. And I'm, I'm already in here, so you can't be in here. And, um, and then Aurora informs him that he was a fairy. And he's like, wait, what? And she's like, yeah, dude, you got your wings cut off. What's, what's going on? He's like, oh, okay. And then that's that's kind of the end of that. He Which like is bizarre. He's a fairy. Yeah. And then, um, you know, they, they, she, he tells her that, you know, what he's been making, what he's been doing, what he's doing to, to these fairies. And um, and so that's when Aurora rushes out to the wedding chapel, realizing that it's it's a trap. Meanwhile, inside the wedding <laughs> chapel, everybody's getting geared up. They're like, "All right, I can't wait for the bride to walk in or whatever." And Miss Malfoy up there, she's like, oh, "Y'all about to be dead!" And she starts playing <laughs> the organ. Finger cracking. Yeah, she starts playing the gigantic organ that's up there. That has been specially marked with uh, bomb keys, <laughs> and um, <laughs> every time she hits a bomb key, it sends off a, bo- a dust bomb and kills like three or four of these fairies. <laughs> First off, I have so many problems with this. <laughs> Number one, really, their death took so long to do too. Oh my goodness! Such an inefficient way to be killing people. This For place sure. don't have vents. <laughs> just blow some of that dust through the vents. What are we doing? What's going this on? Is more the girls Nazi don't even vibes. Love what she's aiming. She's just freaking jamming on more there. <laughs> more <laughs> Nazi vibes. Okay, this is like the gas chamber but like a pretty ah! gas chamber way slower yeah like, and, and yeah what no i, I just you scream ah! the gas chamber oh yeah, okay. well yeah, yeah. they're scared but like <laughs> they are <laughs> the, this scene went on it kept, and on it kept coming back to this and i was like either yeah, they I, all I was like be? they still in there yeah they should either all be dead or someone needs to rescue them because it's been 25 minutes. It's taking There's so long. Yeah, see, in there. I know Louise said that you liked, was it, I guess you liked all of this part, like the fight scene and stuff. But no, for I me. I said the movie redeemed itself in the last 30 minutes. Okay, last 30 minutes. I just thought all of this. This was, wasn't the was, 30 um, minutes he was talking no. about. It was taking too long. Yeah. Straight like, up. usually I like long fight scenes, but like in superhero movies, and, uh, and uh, this was just too long. I mean, yeah. So they're they're all dying in there very very slowly or whatever. At one point, the blue fairy she's like, "I'm I'm not having any more of this." After like the tenth time that we've cut back to this scene, and uh, she flies into the mouth of the organ in between bomb shots, and then gets hit by a bomb while inside the organ pipes, and then that turns all the pipes into flowers because of the type of fairy that she is, and that clogs the pipes up, and so they're not getting shot at anymore. And then I guess the fairies... Which I actually thought that was pretty cute. Like, that was, was a cool, cool I idea. I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting one of these blue fairies to die or whatever. And, uh, well, um, that was fine. That was interesting. Um, so That could have happened, like, ten scenes ago, though. Right. That could have happened well. as soon as she started popping off dust bombs in the very first time they did it. Um, but oh, you got Groot? I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Groot got got. It was <laughs> over. Um, so the fairies fly up. They distract Gerda, they just kind of buzz around her face and she falls off of the organ thing. And I, I guess she did. I think that's the last we see of her. She was yeah, she did. Yeah, she must have <laughs> cracked her neck like <laughs> one of those mannequins. And, um, and then Aurora Gerda. makes her way over 
um, to the chapel. Mm-hmm. It's it's been lo- it's been locked up or whatever. She's Things trying to get through. Things. She can't do nothing. She ain't, she ain't got a lot of power to. And her. I'm home, bro. Um, until until Diaval shows up, and Diaval's like, "Hey, I'll, I'll help you get everything out of there." And then Diaval suddenly turns into a crow bear, a cr- bird bear, a which bear. I was not <laughs> <laughs> ready for. Because I because I saw him starting to transform, and Luis and I looked at each other. We're like, "Ooh, he's getting into a bear! Like Maleficent must be nearby, and she's helping." Mm-hmm. Like we we get the feel that she's flying in or whatever. Right. But then his face was a crow. That was awful. What the heck? It doesn't. I mean, like, so have his face avatar? isn't a crow when he's a human. No. So he was originally a bird, right? And he's a bird. And he and he got he got hurt, and no. Maleficent helped him by turning him yes, into a human. Yes, he is a bird. He was a bird in the first movie. He was born a bird. He was born a crow. He likes being a crow. Born a crow. But Maleficent turns him into a human (laughs) a lot of the time. Parrot crow. (laughs) Parrot crow. But then, like, why would he be part... So when... Well, when he's a human, he has dark hair and stuff like that, so he kind of... Has crow crow vibes, but he ain't got no beak. He's got, like, some scars on his face or whatever. But then when Maleficent turns him into a bear, she can't... She can't get it all the way. Like bear. I mean, how are you going to differentiate him from any of the other bears that are in this movie? You know, yeah. <laughs> that's Shut that's up. the main reason <laughs> that they must have made him a bird bear. Can't get him mixed up with all the other bears. There's no <laughs> other bears. in this. Why did he have to have a beak? He could have just been a bear. <laughs> I don't like some that. animator was like, I'm going to freaking Maybe oh, the logic you bird was bear. There's no bears. So no one's going to know it's not a bear. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you know, it'd be cool. Let's put a beak on the bear. <laughs> Let's do that. So I'm telling <laughs> so you, some bad. animator was like, I'm doing that. Uh-huh. <laughs> I hate it. Got rogue. approved somewhere down the Don't line. Do rogue it. animator. Um, so then the rest of the movie is rogue fighting. Just like fighting. Just so non, like, there non-coordinated no, yeah. attacks between bird things coming up over walls directly into oncoming dust bombs dust bombs mm. and none of them know how to do a barrel roll yeah they they're not getting out of the <laughs> way of these things at all and they're getting obliterated oh, no. and prince philip I is mean honestly they could have made regular bombs and if this is how the the bird people were going to dodge them th- it would have worked just as equally 100%. well 100% they didn't they have to use get their iron yeah. on mm. these things they didn't and need they to use any of this tube bloom nonsense um yeah because so uh, these dudes are getting laid out quick, hard. And then mm. Prince Philip is like running around on the castle grounds, kind of trying to defuse the tension because the because Queen Ingrid has dispelled her like castle forces mm. to like hand fight the people on the ground. Right. And so he's trying to tell him like, no, put down your arms. My mom's getting cray cray up in here. Mom's Dude, her, his uh, mom fighting. don't even care. He was like, mom, you need to stop this fighting. Something, something, you're being crazy. And she was like, you don't know what it takes. I got to do things for this kingdom. I'm going to be out here. I'm going to stab you, dad. Like, I'll stab he's you, like, too. He's like, just like you did to dad. And then she was like, I think the prince is sick. He needs to go. Take the prince like, away. Oh, shoot. And then the prince has to fight. First you stab your papa, and then <laughs> <laughs> the sun goes down. <laughs> Dang. She's doing, all, doing it all for her family, you guys. I get it. No. Um. She, no, she's not. <laughs> she's, she's doing, all it, doing it all for to her Ulf family. Right. For Ulf. Yeah. Um, so she. Who likes their town that much? Bro. I am She's not out here doing it. <laughs> what did she say? I don't know. Something about she got disgraced by some fairy as a kid. <laughs> she she has a yeah. Big she grudge. told a confusing backstory where she and her brother like went out to the moors. But her brother didn't return. Her brother got killed. Maybe her brother just like liked that. the moors. He was like, this place is better. Yeah, maybe he's a bear now. He's just hanging <laughs> out out there with a big old beak on his face. He might be. <laughs> <laughs> um, so maybe Diaval is actually her brother. Was just trying to get oh, away. Dude, that would have been a crazy reveal. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so it's like I've always hated you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she six she six her main guard onto her son, and then they have like a little fight on the ground after they ride a kite to the to the surface <laughs> level or whatever. <laughs> I was so confused with what was happening there. Let's go. Andre was fly like, fly Andre was like, is that kite on a string? And I was like, yeah, I think so. And then afterwards, I was like, I don't think it was. I don't think so. Like yeah. it was like attached to a string. <laughs> And then they jumped on it, and the rope broke off, but they didn't fall to their deaths. It kind of just glided down. 
<laughs> on a kite. <laughs> but not a very big kite either. You're telling people they can do that. Don't do it. Don't try this at home, <laughs> folks. <laughs> <laughs> or do I mean I don't um, know. Yeah, do so you? No, don't. Mary this Poppins. is twenty twenty. You could very much die. <laughs> yeah. Stop. <laughs> from a lot of stuff. Um so they, they Mary Poppins their way down. They they're they're Mary about Poppins to kill down. each other. Bora shows up, he's like, rah, rah, I'm a bird. <laughs> and um <laughs> But Philip is like, no, we will not fight. And Bora's like, Okay, I see some humans kind of Yeah, it's cool. very interesting. <laughs> Philip like holds an iron sword up to Bora's neck. It's, it's like, like singeing burning. his neck. And he's like, bro, I don't want to hurt you, even <laughs> though I can tell this hurts a lot. And Bora's like, I feel you, dog. <laughs> 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 None of us is fighting no more. <laughs> so then I literally hate it so much. <laughs> so it's so stupid. So then all the soldiers stop fighting. They all stop doing this stuff just to see, like, Maleficent up there with the queen. And then I just think, like, they're just all watching <laughs> this happen, like, from down below, you oh, know? Dude, like dude, look at Maleficent's oh, outfit. She oh, ain't wearing most of a shirt. Look at her. Oh, She's crazy shoot. up there. The queen just, like, stabbed Maleficent, and she gone. Yeah, like that's just the thing. They're just watching this happen. Maleficent confronts Ingrid, and um, and then Aurora shows up, I believe. Yeah, yeah. and she's and like, Mother, Aurora's I know like who you are. Maleficent, stop it. You stop all this fighting. We can't do it. Maleficent turns around for like a hot second to look at Aurora. She's like, oh, my pretty stupid idiot child. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. I got to kill this lady. And, um, <laughs> and then stop. Queen Ingrid, she grabs her gigantic and crossbow, her. pops her with a dust bomb. And then Maleficent turns to dust. She's dead. It's over. Movie, but, you know, ends. it's fine because Aurora cried on the dust and Phoenix rise from ashes and tears or something like that. I okay, know. first off, you are mixing Harry Potter <laughs> and this movie. Because that's how it rolled. Because <laughs> Aurora is linked to Maleficent and uh, some Maleficent tears came out of Aurora's face. They dropped onto Maleficent ashes and then the ashes <laughs> rose into the Phoenix the big Phoenix. bird. Phoenix rise I would have just ashes. been happier if... She just rose from her own ashes. Like, why does she have to have a tear? Right. Well, like, the, the phoenix like is this like Rapunzel uh, with the tear in the thing? Uh, or it, I don't I like so. it. That's what the know. phoenix sounded like. So then the... <laughs> Michelle, you should just be like a sound effects. <gasps> so then the craziest thing happens in the movie that they didn't really... I mean, I guess they, they, they it foreshadowed was this. By showing the big bird that they worship. Oh, yeah. Maleficent's a phoenix. Uh, yeah, Maleficent's the phoenix. She Turned rises into a phoenix. And turns into a gigantic black fiery bird with horns. Mm -hmm. And because of that, the queen is like WTF, picks up Aurora and throws her off the <laughs> castle. <laughs> so that she can run away. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it, I mean, sure. You know, I'm done with this. This little thing, this th this plan didn't work out, so I'm tossing her off <laughs> <laughs> off the so castle stupid. wall. Um, uh, she does that. Uh, 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 Maleficent catches um, Aurora, and then falls down to the to the ground. It's it's a sweet catch, I guess. Um, <laughs> and then Queen Ingrid, she runs into the castle away from everybody. Um, Where all of the r the rest of the little dark fey people, so those well, they like all bow to her. The place or something? I <laughs> guess so. Uh, you know, fighting the battle's hard. You got to go in there. Like y'all got Gatorade. What's going on in here? I need something to help me out. Uh, like so legit, they're, they're just in like there. Four people in there, like. Unless you're looting, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, what, what do you guys do? I don't know what they could have done. Are you like rioting? Are you? Like, the like whole I battle is happening outside. What do you I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not say, you know, <laughs> saying looting is okay, but they have no other reason to be in there. Like, yeah, there should have been a setup scene. Uh, <laughs> Gotta take a wee. Yeah, we had to go to the birdie bathroom Let's real take quick. Take a wee. Um, Let's to take a wee. You guys need to take a mandated 15. <laughs> Hold up, pulse <laughs> fighting. Break from the war, war break. Um, and just like that, okay, <laughs> I guess they're at peace now. Wait, wait, we're at peace now? Is this a tactical way? Yeah, when, when Maleficent falls to the ground, uh, is, does she, she catches Aurora. She catches Aurora. They come up, it's fine. The queen runs away and they find her. And then Philip is like, there will no <laughs> longer be any fighting. And Aurora is like, yes, today there will be a <laughs> wedding to unite these two kingdoms. And I guess Stop they're just with that the <laughs> and, wait. and Andre was like, are we really having a wedding like right now? Like aren't people wait, wounded? Wait, wait. Like how my did arm got shot up. How did Maleficent turn back into Lady Maleficent? She just did. Oh. She just She was like <laughs> She just defeathered. She did just the, so everyone knows we all like just did like a shimmy. We all just shimmied our feathers off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Maleficent now. 
It's fine. Well, now everybody's at peace, and they're going to have the wedding anyways, even though there's probably wounded people everywhere. Yeah, it, this this was really uh, really rushed to me. Like I did not like that. It, it, it made no sense. So, yeah, like Michelle Parker said. was like, I just fought. Maybe my arm's blown <laughs> off. I'm tired. I want to <laughs> go to a wedding. They're making their <laughs> dumb little speeches like, no more fighting shall happen today. You know what will happen today? A <laughs> wedding that you all are mandated to go to. It was like, bro, a bird stabbed me in the chest. Can I go home? <laughs> what is happening? Do I have to sit next <laughs> to the guy that just tried to murder me? Yeah, like, what I know, and then they're all looking at each other like they're all nice. And I, I think uh, we're I all told, bros now. I, I killed Andre, your best friend, like, and you so screamed when it happened. So but no, I'm gonna sit next like, to you at the wedding. Good. All of a sudden, we're like, it's okay. We don't want to be fairiest anymore. Fairies are cool now, just like that. You know? Well, yeah. Okay. The their deep seated hate for each other washed away pretty quickly as soon as they saw these two teenagers say, "Hey, guys, cut it out." <laughs> 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 um. So yeah, the 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 wedding happens. The movie. Oh, and, not and over the dad yet. comes back though. The king comes back yeah, and he is wakes like, "Because they destroy the thimble." Oh, that's right. And they and then they turn the mom into a goat, and <laughs> they and then and then they're like, "Maybe we should turn her not into a goat." And the king is like, "Oh, maybe we just leave her like maybe that." Like, whatever, that was actually really whoa. funny. Hey, the king was just like, "It's second wife time." You know what I'm talking about? Hey, hey, hey Maleficent, <laughs> how you doing, girl? He was making eyes at her. At he the was end. a heck of making eyes for at sure. Her. And I was like, okay, I guess she, Maleficent's got a thing for kings, you know? Because hey. the last king, right? She was in there. Yeah, but she was also making eyes at Bora, so I don't know. I mean, Bora's kind of king of the the bird dudes now, right? Since uh, since, since old Chawatil went. Ka-ka. Yeah, he went. He, he <laughs> went the old. Ka-ka, ka-ka. Man. Ka-ka. <laughs> ka-ka. 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 They get married. It's it's all really pretty. All the Moors people is there. Uh, nobody mourns for the blue fairy at all. Not even for a second. Nope. Uh, well, they're making her dress pink, and then they're pink. making it's it green. green. They're fighting, and then it turns out blue, and they're like, oh, oh, it blue, blue, like, just like our fallen sister. Whose name you don't know because we never said it in the movie. She's the flower in the pot right next to us. Yeah, my like group. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just like <laughs> um, and, and then Tiddly Wings is at the wedding, and he should just be a war oh, criminal. Oh my God. Lickety Spittle. Lick Spittle Lickety is spl- hanging out I there. I said Lickety Spittle. <laughs> Lick Spittle is hanging out with all the the Moors people, all the fairies, and they're just like cool and with him. He's like, "Hey, I'm a fairy now. What's I'm up?" I'm pretty What's sure he should be. <laughs> and I was like, Andre was like, "Shouldn't he be arrested?" It I was like, "Okay, arrested. traitor. How about you get hung and quartered, dog? You, <laughs> oh. you you did so much stuff to my homie." Mother mushroom dude at the beginning of the movie <laughs> oh my god homie mushroom and dude. little hedgehog pinto bro Yo, i don't know what andre, happened to him andre was pinto. mad because the hedgehog pinto kissed the mushroom one and andre was like wait those things are gender <laughs> 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 i said the same thing Luis was like yeah that one's female oh that's, that's what michelle said. said why are we guys the same i was like yeah the hedgehog's a girl can you see the eyelashes oh, no and andre okay. was like no <laughs> Like Homegirls run around shirtless, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the rules are it's in the moors. It's free the nipple out here. Okay. Um, Babe, you can't say that. <laughs> All right, I'll mute myself. Um, oh, better than spelling out the B it word. Was, it was <laughs> better. Now when I spelt it out, it's going to be a really long bleep. It's going to be like bleep, I'll bleep, 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 every other bleep, bleep, bleep. Um, <laughs> I, so C. The movie is not yet over. It is. Um, it? The, the, I'm pretty the, sure it is. The it the is. They just fly away. The guy and the girl, they're hanging out at Aurora and Philip. They're like, oh, my <laughs> God, what are we going to do next? I guess we'll have a baby and we'll live here and half here and half of the moors or whatever. And then Maleficent comes up to them and they're like, Maleficent, won't you stay for a while? She's like, I'll be here for the coronation. <laughs> no. Wink. No, she's just christening. The chris- whatever. Because that's like when you christen a baby and that's when she cursed Aurora. It's, it's like a ha-ha. I mixed up my, my my fancy royal C words. I'm sorry. <laughs> you messed up your dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, uh-huh. And then she flies away. Yes, she flies away. And then there's another scene where she's flying away in the sky, and there's like little bird children flying that floating next to her. That was so. And it's like, hey, movie's bad. over. And then the movie's over. And then the movie's over. So I'm sorry, I did not. But the more we talk I about, I it, really the wanted less Londa I like to it. come on. I know you. I can't sing it because it's Lana really Del Rey low. song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Emily, you know I'm not an alto. Uh, no, I know what you're saying now. No, you gotta Lana Del Rey. Just, she just sounds like a sexy baby. So. <laughs> uh, no, no, I want to do one upon a dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Addie didn't like it. Oh I heard no. her, her cry. I'm waking up the real baby. <laughs> oh no, Andre woke up the baby. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> sexy baby. <laughs> <laughs> kind of weird, bro. 
That's what she sounds like, I'm man. So freaked out. <laughs> okay, so Louis said it's kind of weird, but he was just looking at Andre laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we woke up the child. Yeah, you totally I'm woke up my kid I'm in so the other sorry. room with your sexy <laughs> baby voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That no, lo- no more, more lullabies from me. Um, so yeah, that's that's Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, um, uh, the 2019 oh. live action film. I'm sorry. I so That's sorry. Olivia. No, it's Olivia. I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> he didn't like the scary <laughs> baby. <laughs> no, I know. Sex it's baby. Oh, scary, scary baby. Scary sex baby. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's this movie. Um, Sorry, gotta bleep that. Uh, all right, <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even hear it, but I got it. I'm gonna bleep a lot in this episode. <laughs> okay, um, money. Let's talk money about this movie real quick. It didn't money, make money, anything. Money, money, money. 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 This movie had a budget of 185 million dollars, mm. and it ended up with a worldwide gross of 491.7 million dollars. Yeah, because people really liked the first one, so they're going to go see the second one. I mean, yeah, they 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 definitely. Uh, That's how it works. They definitely went to see it. That's and how it uh, works. <laughs> <laughs> Although wow. it's Thank not you always you how it works. It's how it works because the first one was good. Well, and Angelina Jolie is the star, is the star. right? Yeah. Even be, though she was not the star, but of this because movie. the first one was good, people are like, "I'm going to go see." Yeah. this my other example is the lion king live action bs just got <laughs> slated for a second movie why well that movie made a billion dollars at the box but office. it was bad i mean yeah basically but uh that that's 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 but all it takes it to but I'm still gonna go see the you know second one, so. but yeah, this is fine. but it, i think it's a perfect example though because even though i hadn't seen it up until this point and we owned it and i didn't watch it mm-hmm. yet oops i really like you said, I really liked the first one, mm-hmm. and so I bought the double feature because I was like, I really like the first one, right. so exactly. I'm sure gonna so like the like, second oh, one. It's gonna be great. Mm-hmm. Be that's, a, that's how it is, and that's kind of how I felt about Alice in Wonderland when we. Yeah. I didn't really know what the second movie was about, and I was stoked when we went to the theater. Yeah, and I was like, I was expecting more because I liked me. the first. Right. It wasn't for me. Absolutely. What's its rating? Did people agree uh, or disagree with us? This is fascinating to me. On Rotten Tomatoes, this movie has a 40% on the <gasps> tomato meter. Oh, okay, it that's a little certified bit too rotten. low. However, that's the too low. Certified rotten. The audience score is 95%. Good God, no. That's wow. based on 19,000 viewer ratings. How many critic? Only 251 critic ratings. Okay, consensus. That is bizarre. That's weird. The critics' consensus says, while it's far from cursed, Maleficent Mistress of Evil too rarely supports its impressive cast and visuals with enough magical storytelling to justify its existence. But 40%? I don't well, think it's rotten. I just feel like between the two, like, why the disparity? Right. Huge disparity. How, how are some people giving it an A and some people getting it a, a F minus minus. That's you know? weird. Well, that's an A plus. Right. Like, that is a yes, it's I a, love it. It's a Toy Story score. <laughs> that's no. really weird. Do any, like, listeners, I mean, can you see an audience review? Um, sure. Let me check out a review here. Do, 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 do. That's very bizarre Let me get to a me. fresh one. Yeah. Um, I want to see what they have to say. Uh, this is from somebody who gave it a three out of five. It says the sequel, however, is thankfully an improvement over the poorly executed first movie. What? Thanks to the more experienced director Joaquim Roning. Um, I'm gonna say nay to that. No. Yeah, and that's a three out of five. Yeah, that was a three out of five. Somebody else says uh, oh, that was the only, the only rated one. That's weird. Some of these don't have ratings. Well, um, I'll just give you my rating. Yes, hit I us think it. it was like a six. <laughs> Like, mm. they tried really hard, yeah. and I wanted to like it. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not like I went into this and was just expect like It's like the opposite of me going into Togo. Like, I want I was expecting to hate it, right? and I liked it. Yeah. This is like, I wanted to like it, and I just couldn't. It fell flat. It just Interesting. was not working for me. Um, so, I feel <laughs> like it's like a six, and the I, I want to give it a 6.5, but I just can't. Right. Like, it just did not... Every different area that I think about, it fell flat. Like, even, like, when I think about cinematography or whatever, there were areas where it just looked bad. Because, like, w- like you were talking about, one of my favorite, like, view scenes was when they were going through the hair sea w- tundra. The, the nest yeah. thing. Nest the thing. Utopia nest. 
Yes. So they're going through the nest, mm -hmm. and you're looking at all the different biomes, and it was cool. It was cool. Like, it was like, oh, it was, the desert. All yeah, the it was really cool to see, like, the different areas and stuff, yeah. but then it, like, moved back to looking at Maleficent looking at it, and it looked like she was literally next to the green screen. Right. Like, she was just, like, plastered against it. It's so weird. In the beginning. And her wings were didn't seem to be attached to her. Ah, that's the thing. We watched uh, another feature uh, on Disney+. Plus, And uh, so there's... I, I, and uh, in my notes, I wrote that I thought that there was a, a nice mix of practical effects and CGI. But it turns out that they're all flying practically. So they're 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 in like a, a blue screen room, uh -huh. and they're attached like at the hip to these to these suspension wire sure. things that that's flying on the round. But their wings are completely CGI. So they have to make ten spa space of uh, feet on each side of each person. So to be able to put in the wings. So anytime they're walking through a scene, when Maleficent is just walking and she has her big wings behind her, she, she, there's no wings there. It's just sure. two little nubs on her on her back or whatever. But when they're like flying next to each other, there's also no big wings there. But there's a lot of wind and there's a, a harness and there's sure. all kinds of stuff going on there. Well, then that makes sense because to me, all the scenes where she was physically being shown flying, mm -hmm. it I did not feel like there was a connection between her mm. and her wings. Right. Like where you see a bird, you see like the movement in mm -hmm. the body. That seemed weird to me. But then when you like pan to other people on the ground or like the biomes and stuff, that was beautiful. Right. Yeah. So even like that's a perfect example of even the parts that I liked, I still didn't love. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So I'm, I'm a little yeah. sixy. sixy. All right. I'm going to give it a seven. Sixty baby. I don't really have much <laughs> to say <laughs> about it. So I'm just giving it a seven. I don't really know why. Mm -hmm. It was fine. I enjoyed it. I probably won't watch it again. Um, but it, it was still fine. It Which I good. just find so bizarre because I remember you saying you liked it. So I know, you know and like that's why I'm right. saying it's I, so I weird. I remember liking it too. We both really when liked it started, the first time we watched it, Emily. It's so weird. I was so like, weird. oh yeah, here we go. I'm about to get some more Maleficent on. Yeah. And then, oof, I know. Oh I don't goodness. know what happened. This is like one of the only times where I've watched it for a second time and been like, what? Maybe maybe weird. 2020 is just messing with my brain, man. <laughs> we just like everything nasty. Yeah, everything's <laughs> yeah. bad. I'll, I'll give it a seven, though. Hmm. Luis. Luis, what's happening over there, buddy? My tongue is on fire because of these braces. His tongue oh. is on fire. Hey, Michelle when you walk, you pick up your feet. <laughs> fell in my hallway. <laughs> All right, I'll give this a, a six. Six. Yeah, I was thoroughly disappointed. But the last 30 minutes were somewhat redeeming, now that I think. Because about. of the big bird or the... Uh, the whole thing, man. The goat? I think they could have done <laughs> way better. <laughs> <laughs> they could have done way better. Yeah, yeah. I think I concur, and I think I'm also going to give it a six. Um, like I said, this movie had some potential like they w w in that first scene where the humans are like stealing the fairies or whatever i was like oh okay there could be some kind of cool compelling plot where you know some nefarious stuff is happening over the castle and i guess they they kind of did that but with lick spittles weird non-backstory and then ingrith not really uh, staying focused on anything that she wanted to do um i really liked gerda she was cool yeah gerda was cool <laughs> gerda, gerda was interesting um and then you know even Angelina Jolie, who I, I really, really like, and that first movie is awesome, and she's great in it. S she's just given so much less to do in this. I just don't know what the motivations of any of the characters are except for Aurora and Philip to get married, and that, to right. me, is such a boring story. Mm -hmm. Just, like, you're literally only in the story to get married. Yes, correct. So nobody else has, like, a good enough motivation for me to like care where the story's going yeah. and i think that's what made it feel so long yeah it's like ingrid's like i'm gonna kill all those fairies over there in the moors because they're over there minding their own business and not bothering <laughs> me at all and then uh, and uh, dang their happiness maleficent's like yeah i'm not gonna let aurora marry this guy because humans are bad and then the dark fairy are like we're gonna kill all the humans because like humans are bad and then aurora's like i just i want to get married because philip's cool and but my mommy's evil, and I don't, I don't know what to I do. I just don't know. You yeah, guys. it's, 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 it's know. Uh, there's a whole lot of uh, weird nonsense going so on. So it could movie. have been an hour and fifteen minutes right. with that motivation, mm -hmm. and I probably would have been like, all right, 
it, like I'm saying, when, it, when like, we hit like the hour and a half point, I was like, all right, I'm ready for this movie to be over. Yep. And it was not. And sometimes we want the movie to be over because I'm just genuinely tired and I need to go to bed and it's a weeknight. But I was just like, all right, I'm done with this. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. Yeah, this movie was... Uh, well, that's what I've got to say about that. Indeed. Indeed. And that's what we got to say about everything about Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. So so I really want to let, uh, I would want y'all to let us know if um, if you liked this movie, either uh, equally as good as Maleficent or more than some of the other live actions or, or you know, more than just more than us. I, I want to know what you what you liked about it. So leave that down in the comments below. Hit us up on social media. We are at the Walt Fall Pod on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, leave your comments there. Check us out on um, Patreon or patreon.com slash the Walt Vault. We put up extra content there, my notes, some extra podcasts, some video game plays and stuff like that. Um, also, uh, subscribe to us on any podcast platform you're listening to on currently. We're on Stitcher, Google Play Podcasts. Uh, we're on uh iTunes, we're on Spotify, we're on YouTube. Leave a comment, hit a li- hit the like button on YouTube, do all that good stuff. Next week, we are watching The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. This is our next Halloweeny style movie that we're watching. It's uh um, Ichabob. Ichabob. <laughs> we're we're checking out the uh, some some old school stuff. I think it's from 1949. That 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 might be correct. I'm I'm not positive at this point oh yes it is 1949 um so check out it's a it's a double feature it's only like an hour and eight minutes long um check that out on disney plus we'll be there uh with an episode for you next week uh that's it for now oh also don't forget to uh donate to luis's uh uh, donor choose fund yeah yeah peeps we're almost there um we're maybe about 250 something dollars away so please and thank you my kids need it or else they're going to dehydrate and the heat and long sleeves so please help and also you know uh, speaking of heat, you, what what does a snowman do in summer? Uh, uh, Luis is gonna dress up like Olaf if they reach his donor goal. Oh yeah, we're gonna find out what that snowman Y'all does. Y'all know how much I hate Olaf, and but for these kids, if we reach the goal with your help, I will dress up as him. You'll get frozen. A- and you know what? I might even throw in a photo of us Ooh. with me and my Olaf suit Say posing what? for you guys. Very if. You, we reach our goal, so let's do it. I'll put that on my fridge. Thank very, you. very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, also, I think if you're not a patron and you end up um, winning or donating, maybe I'll, I'll shoot you the link to our to our Crack in the Vault episodes um, for, for free free of charge. Uh, so so go out there, hit that do- hit that donate button. The, the link is in the description below. All right, you guys, thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of the Waltz Vaults. We will see you next time for some Mr. Toad goodness. The vault is now closed.